minutes on the clock here in the first half. Gators will move left to right across your radio dial. As the official steps out, the ball goes up, and the opening draw is on the ground, loose, and the Gators control it as Brittany DeShield picks it up right in the middle of the Gator head, and Florida will look to go to work here early. Gators in the blue skirts, the white short sleeve jerseys with orange letters and numerals trimmed in blue. Ball gets ahead to Caroline Chesterman in from the box. Chesterman takes it down behind the cage, gives it to Ashley Bruns. Here goes A.B. Is she going to go to work early? Inside the 12, pass up top to Gilroy. The tank going to drive early inside the 12, inside the 8. A shot in the goal for Shannon Gilroy. 30 seconds, and the Gators take a 1-0 lead. A great start for the Florida offense. First, winning the draw control so big. Melissa Leonard, 91 on the season, but just like that, Florida gets it, and A.B. goes to work behind the cage where she's been successful all season long. Shannon Gilroy picks up her 40th goal in her sophomore season, and the Gators take an early lead. You go back to the first game that these Gators played. Back in 2010 against Jacksonville, it took about a minute and a half, and then Sam Farrell, who was running on offense for Florida, scored the first goal in program history. The Gators did it quicker here today. It took a minute and a half back in 2010. Today against Northwestern, 30 seconds, and the Gators have an early 1-0 lead. Second draw of the afternoon, and the Gators almost have it in and out, and they will get it. The Shield had it in and out of her stick, and the foul called on Northwestern. Gilroy called, or the foul on Gilroy. She gets stick checked. And the ball gets down to Gabby Wiegand into the offensive end for Florida. 29-10 left to play here in the first half. Gators have an early lead and back to work in the offensive end. Wiegand around the defender, driving inside the 12, check from behind all the way. Gabby Wiegand shoots and scores! We played a minute and one second, and the Gators have a 2-0 lead. What a fantastic start. The two draw controls against the leader in the ALC. And just like that, Gabby Wiegand, Shannon Gilroy, Florida has come out with a vengeance. And this crowd on hand, despite the weather, we got a slow, steady rain coming down. Temperatures in, I'd say the high 50s, low 60s, but the crowd on hand watching the Gators do what they've done for four years now. And they are... Only they own the first minute of the game. And we talked about it. We went back to that Ohio State game. We talked about winning the five-minute segments against Ohio State. You have to take that similar approach here this afternoon. Gators off to a great start, looking for another draw control at center circle. Ball goes up. And this one is controlled by Alyssa Leonard. She shows why she's good right there. As the ball goes straight up, Leonard picks it out of midair. And now Northwestern, who's in the all-purple today. Purple shorts and racerback jerseys, but they cause a turnover. Here goes Kitty Cullen. Gators on the fast break. In the 12, in the 8. Cullen double team. She fires a shot that goes wide as she goes to the ground, and she's going to go to the 8. Kitty Cullen, one on three there. Still tries to make a play, and she's going to get a free position look. She scooped up the ground ball and raced into the 8. And had a great opportunity. The aggressiveness of the Gators here early causing the turnover and Cullen not waiting for anybody. Now has a free position look on the near hash of the 8 meter. Here's the pass inside. We can shoot. She's got her second goal of the day. And the Gators have a 3 nothing lead with a minute and a half into the game. 28-33 left to go. An incredibly unselfish play there by Kitty Cullen to pass it over to her teammate. And just like that, Gabby Wiegand, her second goal of the game. Florida up 3-0, could not have asked for a better start. Wiegan picks up goals 29 and 30 on the season, and the Gators a 3-0 lead against Northwestern, and the energy right now is at an all-time high for this season. The crowd on their feet, the girls on the sideline amped up, and the Gators with a great start. Gilroy and Leonard at center circle, the draw control battle 2-1 in favor of Florida. We played just under a minute and a half here in the first half. This one ripped loose and right into the stick of Gabriella Flibbitt. And now Northwestern will take their first trip into their offensive end as Flibbitt up top between the 12 and the 30 for the Wildcats. She passes to Leonard on the far side of the field. Leonard works it around, and Northwestern going to try and set up their offense here for the first time. Ball gets behind the cage to Beatrice Conley, 5'2 senior from Rochester. Near side to Aaron Fitzgerald. Fitzgerald cradles it in her stick as the crowd chanting defense here. Everyone on their feet as everyone in ponchos, umbrellas up, 
enjoying this one so far. Behind the cage, Conley makes the pass over to the far side of the field. Driving inside goes Leonard. She's going to take a shot and a save by Mahar. Ball knocked free inside the eight. Still loose and a foul called on the Wildcats. And Mikey with a lot of energy jumping up and down with a very early save here. And the defense clicking just like the offense early on. Mikey Mahar had a rough start against Vanderbilt last week. I pulled at the end of the first half, came back with three saves in the second half. Her confidence today between the pipes has to be good, and you have to like the start for the senior. Gators waiting for the whistle. Nora Berry has it in her stick. Look out. She takes off on the whistle. It's a 100-yard dash for Nora Berry, but look at the speed of Amanda Macaluso of Northwestern as she tracks down Berry, catches up with her. Berry spins out of control and into the offensive end for Florida. Berry going to pull it back up top to Gabby Wiegand. Wiegand between the 12 and the 30, 27, 20 left to play here in the first half. Wiegand drives in the 12, in the 8. She gets fouled, and there's the late whistle as she was checked in the head. You saw her reach for it, and that'll put her on the 8. That's a yellow card. Hayden Anakin It's called for the foul and two minutes up on the penalty and the Gators they're going to get a free position look or she was not inside the eight just yet but she has a lane. Wiegand will be just outside the eight meter in between the 12 and the eight. Back to Wiegand. Wiegand move it to Brittany DeShield. Here goes the senior. DeShield over to Cullen. Cullen has a lane inside the pass behind Ashley Bruns. Bruns will go to Chesterman. Gators working it around. Minute 45 left on the power play here for Florida. Gators already a 3-0 lead. 26-55 left to go in the first half. Bruns and Chesterman playing catch behind the cage. Gators running their offense. Taking some time now. Up to Kitty Cullen. Cullen will go to DeShield. DeShield, Wiegand, Gilroy, Nora Berry in that offensive end. Wiegand has it. Goes back to Cullen on the far side. And the Gators just playing catch right now. Trying to toy with Northwestern. Screen set. Cullen has it in the eight. Fires a shot. But we get a whistle before the goal goes in. And uh, might be a shooting space foul on Northwestern. And I think that's what it's going to be. It'll put Kitty Cullen onto the eight meter for the second time this afternoon. And there's Ashley Bruns all alone on the crease. Cullen looks ready to pass it to her off the whistle. We'll see if she does. She gets it. She does. Bruns shoots. Yeah. Scores. Gators lead 4-0. Another unselfish play there by Kitty Cullen. Gets her second assist of the day. And here we are three and a half minutes in. All Florida. Gators take a 4-0 lead. Bruns picks up her 38th goal on the season. And man, what a couple of games she's had against Vanderbilt and Johns Hopkins. Eight goals up at Vandy, and really she set the tone for that game. Vanderbilt was competitive throughout, but the Gators did a good job of making sure to get the ball to Ashley Bruns, and there again, we see why. AB's really peaking at the right time of the season here as the regular season wraps up and the conference play starts in just a week and a half, really playing well as of recent. Gilroy and Leonard at center circle. The rain falling a little bit harder here at Disney Stadium in Gainesville. 26.30 left to play in the first half. Official will step out. Ball goes up, ripped free, and we get an illegal draw on the Gators. This will give it to Northwestern. They're going to say Shannon Gilroy went early on it. So Alyssa Leonard will take it from center circle out. She'll head into the offensive end. She's got two on her, now three. Runs into the defender, and a foul going to be called on Emily Dahoney. Leonard kind of ran into a wall there and didn't have any option. Ball gets passed off. Over to Lauren Murray. Murray has it between the 12 and the 30. Comes back to Allie Cassara. Cassara makes the pass to Aaron Fitzgerald here on the near side of the field. And Fitzgerald cradles, waits patiently. 25-50 left to go. Gators an early 4-0 lead. The high-octane offense. Here's the pass inside. Good defense by the Gators. That's going to keep Kelly Rich out of the 8. As DeShiel and Sidney Dupree team up on the double team. Here goes Fitzgerald now driving inside the 12. Sam Farrell on Aaron Fitzgerald. Fitzgerald going to pass it off to Amanda Macaluso. Macaluso can't get around Jamie Reed. Here goes Craig inside the 8. She can't get in. Pass off inside the 8 again with Lauren Murray. Murray doesn't have an option that time. And Northwestern trying to drive inside the 8, but the Gator defense doing a nice job of keeping them out. Features Conley with it back behind the cage, trying to burn the crease. Dupree working on her. Now Dahoney picks her up on the near side. 
Forces the pass. Here's a pass inside. Ball free inside the eight. Mahar comes out of the crease. She's going to pick it up. And the Gators cause the turnover. And then we get a foul on Northwestern. It's a yellow card. And this is on Alyssa Leonard. The second yellow card of the day. And Florida, again, defensively stepping up big. Leonard aggressively going after Mikey Mahar. Picks up the card. I've never understood why players would go after the goalie as hard as they do when the goalie's wearing the most amount of padding out there. You see the same thing in hockey. So Mikey takes it. Gators have their second man up opportunity here in the afternoon. As Mahar going to make the pass over to Jamie Reed. Gators out of the defensive end. Reed loses it. Ball loose on the ground. Reed trying to get it back. Can she? She does. Good job by Sam Farrell. And Farrell's going to be called for the foul. So Farrell got a little aggressive trying to help Jamie Reeg out. Northwestern gets it back. Now they'll have the opportunity to kill the penalty as Kaylee Craig takes it, makes the pass back to Aaron Fitzgerald. Fitzgerald has it in the offensive end. See if Northwestern tries to go to work a man down for the next minute 20. As Sam Farrell picking up Fitzgerald here on the near side of the field. Fitzgerald has it inside the 12, trying to drive the baseline. Farrell. Well, face guard checks her out. Double team slide for Emily Dahoney. Gators aggressive now here with the extra man on defense as Farrell again on Fitzgerald. Fitzgerald almost just bumping into Sam Farrell and looking for the call. She doesn't get it. The ball goes over to the far side. Beatrice Conley with it now makes her way around the 12 meter. Then she'll make the pass off to Lauren Murray. Murray has it up top between the 12 and the 30. Comes to the near side of the field. 40 seconds left on the penalty. 23-30 left to play here in the first half. Gators have a 4-0 lead. Amanda Macaluso with it near side. Kayla Stolens on Macaluso. And Northwestern about 25 seconds left to kill on the penalty to the junior Alyssa Leonard. Looks like they're going to kill the penalty here and not a bad thing. You would have hoped for more. But the turnover by Jamie Reed gives it back to Northwestern. Now the Gators will look at a Northwestern team here in full strength in the next seven seconds and try and go back to work and get that defensive stop. And Alyssa Leonard about ready to run on and set up the offense for Northwestern. And she does just that. Jogs into the offensive end. Penalty killed for the Wildcats. And Leonard gets it up top between the 12 and the 30. Goes over to the far side to Kaylee Craig. Craig has DeShiel on her. She's cradling it over on the far side of the field. Now picks up her pace, moves down towards the baseline, goes behind the cage to Alyssa Leonard. Very, Leonard directing traffic. Very patient Northwestern offense. Not really having a lot of cuts through the middle. Macaluso with it down behind the cage now, trying to get around. Kayla is stolen. She gets double teamed as she makes a move towards the 12, makes a pass up top to Craig. Craig trying to get around DeShiel. DeShiel does a nice job keeping her outside the eight. Makes the pass back behind one more time. Up top, here goes Aaron Fitzgerald. Good double team by the Gators. As Jamie Reeg and Sam Farrell converge on the double team. Here's a shot and a save by Mikey Mahar. As Lauren Murray fired a shot. And now the Gators trying to clear, lose it again, and another foul called on Florida. Great defense by Jamie Reeg the last two possessions, but then... She couldn't hold on to the ball and two turnovers back to Northwestern. Quick pass inside, Alyssa Leonard, shot goes wide. Gators are not going to be closest to it. Conley back behind the cage for the Wildcats. So Leonard misses everything on the shot. And off the whistle, they go back up top to Craig. She drives through the double team, doesn't have a shot. Takes it down behind the cage to Conley. Conley the pass to Leonard. Leonard again directing traffic. 21-15 left to play here in the first half. And we get a shooting space foul called on the Gators away from the ball. And this is going to put Kelly Rich on the 8-meter. Second hash in on the near side. Northwestern will have their first opportunity. And now they're saying the foul is going to be against Rich. They changed the call. The ref apologizes there to Coach O'Leary. And Florida's going to get it back. So the Caters get the turnover on the foul. Mando Larry, Nick Williams down working the defense, and they work the officials for the call right there. And things now going back the Gators' way as Sam Farrell gets the pass from Sidney Dupree. Farrell taking off down the near sideline. She gets around Alyssa Leonard. 
Can she get around Aaron Fitzgerald? She does. She gets checked hard.